You gave up the Golden Touch, didn't you? The king looked astonished. Gave it up? Yes, you got it for some god. Dionysus, the king agreed. I rescued one of his satyrs and in return the god granted me one wish. I chose the Golden Touch. But you accidentally turned your own daughter into gold, Piper remembered, and you realized how greedy you'd been, so you repented. <laughs> repented? King Midas looked at Lit incredulously. <laughs> you see, son? You're away for a few thousand years and the story gets twisted all around. My dear girl, did those stories ever say I'd lost my magic touch? Well, I guess not. They just said you learned how to reverse it with running water and you brought your daughter back to life. That's all true. Sometimes I still have to reverse my touch. There's no running water in the house because I don't want accidents. He gestured to his statues. But we chose to live next to a river just in case. Occasionally I'll forget and pat Lit on the back. Lit retreated a few steps. I hate that. I told you I was sorry, son. At any rate, gold is wonderful. Why would I give it up? Well, Piper looked truly lost now. Isn't that the point of the story? That you learned your lesson? <laughs> Midas laughed. My dear, may I see your backpack for a moment? <laughs> Toss it here. Piper hesitated, but she wasn't eager to offend the king. She dumped everything out of the pack and tossed it to Midas. As soon as he caught it, the pack turned to gold, like frost sp spreading across the fabric. It still looked flexible and soft, but definitely gold. The king tossed it back. Well, as you see, I can turn anything I want to gold, Midas said. That pack is magic now as well. Go ahead, put your little storm spirit enemies in there. Seriously? Leo was suddenly interested. He took the bag from Piper and held it up to the cage. As soon as he unzipped the backpack, the wind stormed and howled in protest. The cage bars shuddered. The door of the prison flew open and the winds got vacuumed straight into the pack. Leo zipped it shut and grinned. Gotta admit, that's cool. You see, Midas said, my golden touch a curse? <laughs> Please, I didn't learn any lesson, and life isn't a story, girl. Honestly, my daughter Zoe was much more pleasant as a gold statue. She talked a lot, Lit said. Exactly, and so I turned her back to gold, Midas pointed. There in the corner was a golden statue of a girl with a shocked expression on her face, as if she were thinking, Dad, that's horrible, Piper said. Nonsense, she doesn't mind. Besides, if I had learned my lesson, would I have gotten these? Midas pulled his oversized sleeping cap, and Jason didn't know whether to laugh or get sick. Midas had long, fuzzy, gray ears sticking up from his white hair, like Bugs Bunny's, but they weren't rabbit ears. They were donkey ears. Oh, wow, Leo said. I didn't need to see that. Terrible, isn't it? Midas sighed. After a few years the Golden Touch incident, I judged a music contest between Apollo and Pan, and I declared Pan the winner. Apollo, a sore loser, said I must have ears of an ass, and voila, this is my reward for being truthful. I tried to keep them a secret, only my bar barber knew, but he couldn't help blabbing. Midas pointed out another golden statue, a bald man in a toga, holding a pair of shears. That's him. He won't be telling anyone else his secrets again. The king smiled. Suddenly, he didn't strike Jason as a harmless old man in a bathrobe. His eyes had a merry glow to them, the look of a madman who knew he was mad, accepted his madness, and enjoyed it. Yes, gold has many uses. I think that must be why I was brought back, eh, Lit? To bankrupt our patron? To bankroll her? Leo, Lit nodded. That and a good sword arm. Jason glanced at his friends. Suddenly, the air in the room seemed much colder. So, you do have a patron, Jason said. You work for the Giants? King Midas waved his hands dismiss dismissively. Uh, I don't care for Giants myself, but even supernatural armies need to get paid, and I do owe my patron a great debt. I tried to explain that to the last group that came through, but they were very unfriendly. Wouldn't cooperate at all. Jason slipped his hand into his pocket and grabbed his gold coin. The last group? Hunters, Lit snarled. Blasted girls from Artemis. Jason spilled a spark of electricity. A literal spark traveled down his spine. He caught a whiff of electrical fire like he just melted some of the springs in the sofa. His sister had been here 